It seems to be a recurring thing between human beings. We have the tendency to love power. It doesn't matter if we are spiritual, spiritual people, so-called like this, overwork in Wall Street, so economy. People want to have control over things and over life. And there is a very nasty way of doing that, which is to bring people down. So to uh, judge them. By judging them, you create insecurities. And at that stage, you follow that person because you feel that person is stronger than you. This thing happens everywhere. Both um, work situations, even spiritual, so-called spiritual gurus and nowadays is basically becoming somebody with some kind of new belief of thing uh, just having some confidence showing up and throwing things out and in this field people are very uncertain so they tend to trust quite a lot especially somebody who is confident about things and I see these so-called spiritual gurus that uh, you know, really take advantage of people. And there is no difference between this and other <laughs> business related to other industry. I see the same process going on, which is a shame because turning spirituality, so turning the possibility of developing the human being into a process of actually creating dependency, it means that you're just creating chains. People will never be free. They will always be dependent on you. You will tell them some kind of story and they will follow you, pay the money, or whatever, whatever it is. Sometimes even people, they just do it for the, for power, just to be important, just to, uh, you know, be somebody who has understood, <laughs> I guess somebody who hasn't. Which I think it's a, it's a shame, it's a very terrible situation, but it's just the way it is. Um, actually trusting somebody can be a great thing, but first we need to verify where we're putting our trust. And, uh, and uh, the right teacher, I think, is somebody, if you're lucky to find one, is somebody actually who's willing to make the student responsible, independent, uh, no dependent. That's my point of view, of course. But uh, I can see that when somebody provides tools to others to empower them and to grow, then the person has all the land to grow, all the space to grow, wherever he wants to grow. But when we put limitations and uh, beliefs and uh, authority and a big figure that knows and you don't know, well, it's a shame you see lifetimes wasted into trusting somebody that is not worth it. Um, it's a shame. It's a truly shame. But we have everything in life, so everybody can do whatever they want. Uh, that's why I, I try to encourage dependence. I'm not here as a guru, as somebody, I'm just somebody um, sharing his opinions. Hopefully they can be useful for other people. And sharing some tools that I learned and keep on learning from Shifu, as far as energetic practice, the Nai Qigong. And I also try to shoot these videos, because I think that I've been into this field a little bit, so it's worth to share my experience, which I think is what a human life should be expressing the potential, whatever, whatever it is. So, uh, making others hear that you are alive. <laughs> You're not just breathing air for no reasons. You're actually uh, contributing actively. But at the same time, uh, you also talk about what you can talk. <laughs> because uh, that's the kind of issue that uh, we see most of the time, unfortunately, because we are a very intellectual society that uh, we go through books, whether it is spiritual or other things, even universities we repeat those things, but we have no idea what they are actually which is uh, a shame, because there is a difference between knowing intellectually and knowing experientially, it's huge so when you know experientially, you talk even the, even the words, they have a stronger resonance. Otherwise, they're kind of empty, and that's the reason why most people, you know, read re uh, religious books and they repeat things, and they, they even do fights, they kill other people uh, only because we build some kind of beliefs. So, 
my encouragement as piece of life as human being here it's actually my purpose is and, and the, the pleasure that I have is to see human beings flourishing it doesn't matter which path you go there are many paths outside and many tools that we can use in life to do the same things so I just found the Nichigong path years back it worked for me, clicked after a long search and here I am now recording these things and teachings and all the, the correlated activities even technical about this this business and this endeavor but um, if I if I may give a piece of advice uh, and there is also once I had a conversation with my teacher I told me the students need to kill the master <laughs> which is a great thing and I hope that this thing can happen sooner for everybody for everybody interested in this kind of search rather than dwelling into the process of dependency and other people who sometimes don't even have the requirements and the uh, criteria to guide somebody uh, to confuse other people for different, pro for different goals whether it is monetary, whether it is power, fame, whatever you want to put it in there so my hope is actually that every body of us can be 100% free, natural, spontaneous with no ideas about what this <laughs> fucking word spiritual means but then uh, you know just being full human beings with no war inside it's already a good starting point and then if we want to explore other things that belong to other perceptions and uh, we might go for it but in a very nice and uh, humble way because we're just a little piece of life here compared to the universe probably we have the size of a bacteria in our body compared to the whole thing so uh, we don't have to take ourselves too seriously there is a major force always <laughs> be moving this thing uh, beyond ourselves even we can see this in our body it works we breathe we breathe it out this, the blood goes around all the other processes we are not aware of something is doing this thing for us or even this not something it's not a specific something it's just life itself so my goal is actually that more and more people can start to think like this and I think that at that stage we can actually see uh, a real progress in the human evolution rather than an intellectual advancement into the religious beliefs and spiritual systems that when people one day will manage to be fully aligned between what they think, what they do and what they feel it's a natural dimension that can open up at that stage because the, the pipe is unblocked so something <laughs> can pour inside and, uh, and the thing is more intelligent than you and me, everybody who is around here